Welcome to You Think That's Funny with me, Kenya Alon, recorded here at the Lincoln Lodge. Our guest today, you've seen her on Conan, you've seen her on Pause with Sam J. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. She's got a podcast called I Love My Kid But. Please welcome Megan Gailey. Hi, Megan. Hi. <laughs> thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you for being part of our like weird experiment. Absolutely. It's not even an experiment. We've done this before. We're yeah. just like, we're just like, like we invented podcasting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard podcasting. Yeah, we've got a Bunsen burner and everything in <laughs> yeah. the back. We're just like sort of like a little bit of charm, a little bit of a uh, mm-hmm. personal story and it was you like, got a deal, baby. There was no. a podcasting <laughs> sitcom a few years ago where Zach really? Braff, I think maybe on like three or four episodes, Zach Braff was like creating a podcasting network in his garage and I was like, well, like, podcasting's over. So he was like pretending to be like Mark Marin, yes, yeah, like and this was broadcast. Very Zach this was like a, a maybe yeah. probably NBC, but it was like on broadcast. <laughs> of like I'm starting a podcast. I'm like, oh, no, this is our wings, right? Oh my god, if someone could actually accomplish that, like in a real way, like make that a TV show, like I, that would be insane. To yes. see. I would, I, I would watch that. Yeah. If anyone's with everything that's going on, whatever. There, yeah. If someone <laughs> can make that happen, you got me. Okay. <laughs> But no, um, this is not a show about Zach Braff's attempts at becoming Mark Maron on television. No. Um, this is a show called You Think That's Funny, which is also, I always have a tendency to look at the camera. Um, oh, yeah? Hello. Well, yeah, you got one Straight too. Down the barrel. Yes, exactly. Hi. Yes. I get Don't look at me. Look you at the camera. You do stand up. As yes, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get so distracted at, in Los Angeles. I'm sure it's the same here. There's a photographer at every single show. Mm-hmm. It could be a show with two people, and they're like, well, <laughs> we're getting you in high def. And yeah. It's like, what? And so I right. can't not right, just sort stop. Of like, it's like I've had yeah. so many tests. Terrible photos taken of me. That it's yeah. that's a ref- that's on me and my posture. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm like I will control my own destiny. Right. I, it's where I gotta control my hands. I'm usually sort of just like flail. Every yeah. photo is like I'm flailing. Yeah, just like yeah, up yeah, in yeah. my face, and I'm like, well, if we keep the passion. You know what I mean? Just sort of like yeah, confined. T- tilt it, my chin it, yes, up, but yes, out. Yeah, yeah. To anchor it there yes um, not in my fingertips <laughs> friend of the show I'm assuming mm-hmm. usually the guest doesn't say friend of the show but uh, friend of the show last night Clark Jones um, he was like do you still go like this and made like a hand gesture he was uh-huh. like do you still go like that on your punchlines I was like I've never done that and I didn't know I was doing that and he was like oh you do that <laughs> so you definitely do that you definitely accent I'm like oh no no yeah um, no that's okay so switching okay this is also just gonna I mean that's what a podcast is just sort of ranting Stream and whatever conscience entirely but to make my Theme? producers Point? happy <laughs> yes um, this podcast is all about things that you find funny or situations you found yourself in where you were maybe um, LMAO on the, yeah. and other people were like WTF yeah. um, so I, you, you took a little bit of time to sort of think about it when you mm-hmm. got here was there what off and you were ready to go which I was surprised I you're quick yeah. um, first first story or or thing off the top of your head um yes yeah, so I have a 17 month old oh my goodness yes and he goes to daycare mm-hmm. now and I love going to pick him up and drop him off. I like the the teacher said I'm the favorite mom and then they were like of the kids and I'm like the kids are babies so like I know you're saying of the staff and like right. that's actually way more important to right. me. And you know, I try and have like a f- fun with them like a little kid and it, it's the kids are like they can walk mm-hmm. but they're just blobs still. So yeah. they're like walking up to you and being like ah just looking and so like a kid came over the other day big old head and I just like looked down and was like oh my god you have a big head in front of like the main teacher and she started laughing and then like knew she wasn't supposed to yeah but my son um my son got bit as the big head kid not well okay. here's the thing my son oh. got bit and they won't tell you I they called my husband and I think my husband probably asked or maybe even didn't but they basically offer up like mm-hmm. he was bit um, so he got an ouch report, which is ouch report. Yeah, some sort of paperwork they have to. You know, there's got to be paperwork for everything, you yeah, know. Yeah, no, totally. Um, there's got to be a trail, mm-hmm. and and whoever bit him got an incident report. And so we were like not even trying to figure it out 
because we wanted to do anything. Right. Like it was just like, I just want to know who bit him. Like, well, right. Was it a friend? Was it a foe? And so. Right. Did they give you any sort of breakdown as to how it happened or all of a sudden yes. he was just like, ah, and like. They said our, because uh, my husband was like, did he instigate it? You know, right, like yeah. that's our like yeah. initial, like, was he asking for right. it? <laughs> and they were like, no, he was just like going down the slide and the uh -huh. other kid wanted on the slide. And so they bit him because that's their way of communication right now. Mm -hmm. They don't have the skills to say like my turn right, or, or excuse me yeah it's just right. my son is slapping me in the face all the time yeah so it's like that's <laughs> yeah. how they get their point across so he got yeah. bit and like marks on his arm for like mm -hmm. a week and so no. I went in and I wasn't really even upset but I was like I am going to start um interrogating the babies <laughs> I'm like, if they won't tell me, then I'm going to get to the bottom of it. As, ever, as the baby's favorite mom. As, as all the, the baby's as the, as number mom. one mom here in the group. They can handle it. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm going in and being like, Brittany, did you buy Conrad? <laughs> to like a child that cannot speak. And I was getting a kick out of it. Like mm -hmm. each day I was like asking a new kid I, yeah. start, I started asking the teachers right i'm like, like miss nuri did you bite conrad <laughs> like i'm pulling everybody and and then i'm like this would be like such a fun murder mystery right. not you know like biting mm -hmm. mystery no one else liked it um they did not want me interrogating the toddlers like they this did, is what the paperwork is for they did not want me interrogating the staff <laughs> but like it got to the point where i was like juan did you bite conrad and they were like very close like it was like i was uh, like looking at the teeth pattern right. to be like okay it's someone that has at least four teeth up top and a lot right. of these fuckers have right. two right barely you know a little jack-o-lantern <laughs> teeth so i still haven't figured it out but i i was i was giving myself like I was knocking myself out with fun, mm -hmm. interrogating the toddlers okay, yeah, in my son's class. Yeah, interrogating the who cannot, yeah, who they cannot talk. They have not said that I'm the favorite mom since I was doing this bit <laughs> by that, myself. Yeah, that ended. Does after. that qualify? Oh, I think entirely. Okay. I think that's hilarious. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if they're going to be wholly unserious with an ouch report, like, like what do you what do you expect me to do it's like i don't know this child's name and maybe it's fair i don't know if that causes fights amongst yeah parents. i think that's what it is they don't want us going directly going to the parents and being like what the f Un uh, this reminds me of a different nbc <laughs> show the slap <laughs> oh yes i remember that did that have two seasons no one? i think one right. no maybe it did. i i don't even know they how they might have tried to get some right because it's like slap right okay. They slapped him. Right. So now, but a what's parent next? slapped. But a kid slapped. I don't even think I actually. A parent slapped another chi person's child. Yes. Okay. I think, not for sure. Right. And I believe, I believe it was one of those shows that was like successful across the pond, maybe right. even it was, the ocean, uh, Australia. Yeah. That we took. Like yeah. the slap wasn't even an original right. thought. They were like, "Wow, they love it." We got to reboot that it. Little, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to bring it back over here. The yeah. Americans will love it. I know it's always funny to just like see them try concepts like other places. Yeah, and sometimes it works. You know, i.e. the Office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know that there's been any other ones. Yeah, I don't really even love like the Love Island reboot. Yeah, the USA one is like they just let them swear like yeah, on Peacock, and that's about yeah, it. Yeah, the British one, they're like. I don't know. They they have like more of like a wink and sense of humor about themselves, mm -hmm. and here it's just like hot people. For some reason, hot people over there can be like fun, have personality, and hot people over here cannot. <laughs> no, we don't want them to. We want them to just be hot. Yeah, we have very specific lanes here in America. <laughs> and I'm like, are they not hungry in the UK? Because that, I always think they're not funny because they're hungry. Right. <laughs> And it's like you can't be funny when you're hungry because you're just mad. Right. But there, I'm like, well, they got flat stomachs and big old titties, right. and they're having some banta. Right. So it's like, what are they? <laughs> are they just getting all the food sucked out? They're eating, and then right. they're, colonics. Well, constantly? they're constantly talking toasties, cheese toasties. Yeah. I'm constantly saying that to myself. I it's just I think it's a grilled cheese. I still don't fully or just toast yeah. with cheese melted cheese on melted it. On top? Yeah, I think that is maybe I don't know maybe. Well, you know when people, they're like, I've been in Europe for two weeks and I lost eight pounds eating right. ice cream. So I'm like, maybe their toast just is more natural. Yeah, I think it's just less crap. Yeah. Yeah, it's the preservatives that make the hot people here less funny. Salt That's it. what it is. Yep. <laughs>
<laughs> we did it. We did it now. US Love Island US is coming back with a vengeance. You know what I mean? Just, I just... saw a like, couple that won the first season mm-hmm. in like a CBS waiting room. And I was like there for a meeting with two other people, one of them, very important, now since passed away. Uh-huh. Rest in peace. And I go up to this couple. I watched maybe like two episodes, but I'd like known they won. Yeah. I went up to them. I go, I am so happy for you guys. I'm really rooting for you. <laughs> and then we like went back and the important person goes, who the fuck are they? <laughs> and I'm like, these losers. You don't even need to. You don't even need oh to be concerned. God. I was like, I don't even know why I cared to tell them I knew who they were. And no, it may yeah. have just been like they were hot. And I was like, I'll talk to them. Right. No, I mean, I have that moment. To be honest, with you, I ran into, I think this guy was on The Sopranos. I don't know. Okay. He's in a lot of stuff, but he mm-hmm. was at my job. The other, he was at my place of work or yeah. whatever, sort of hanging out. And it's like one of those things where you like recognize someone and then mm-hmm. you just like try to not keep looking at them. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, okay, now I'm just going to play it off like I don't give a fuck about who you... This is like an older, like... Character actor. White, yeah, like yeah. white character actor. And I was just like, okay, like, you do your thing. Uh, like, Because I also heard, like, two other people go, go up, up to him oh. and say something. And I was like, well, I'm not saying anything now. Yep. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't know who you are. I was just stoned and ha- you happen to catch my gaze. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm working, whatever. I know there is always that thing. It's like trying to be, like, the cool... Yeah. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah. How's it going? I don't know. I ignored Vince Vaughn once. That's okay. That's epic. Because we went up to a, <laughs> we went up to like a semi-successful, not even, not even that successful comedian who was with who we did know. Mm-hmm. We were like, hi, and then Vince yeah. was like, hi, and we were like, hi, hey, nobody cares about you. Um, yeah, it was. It felt pretty good. No, that. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's truly amazing. No, um, no. Sorry, I'm just thinking about. I'm going back to what you're talking about with your son being bit and the outro reports and like the 18 month year olds no i just spent the summer nannying an 18 okay. month year old yeah. and like i was like i'm just gonna give it a try you know what uh-huh. i mean i'm 33 mm-hmm. i'm like are, is kids gonna be a thing all of that so i was like i just set out to like find a job Figure where i out. could be around a six-year-old and 18 month old and then i just ended up with the 18 month old and i was like okay this is kind of funny but like yeah, yeah but the like there's just sort of like grabbing at the boobs and like oh my just, god just just especially with, with boys it's like okay so this is what it is like this is it just doesn't go away it's just you just sort of like pawing at people yeah. you know what I mean oh, like I want I want and it's like slapping me right. he was probably breastfed yes my son was breastfed by me um, <laughs> and he pulls he like now yeah he's doing this thing now where he pulls open my shirt yeah. and just looks down right. and he's not breastfed anymore he right. did it yesterday right. in front of my parents like he like pulled open my shirt looked down and my dad goes he's a gaily and I'm like yeah but I'm his mom he's looking at his mom's tits right. So that's a thing our family does? Right. Yeah, no. Cool. Right. You're cool. like, okay, dad. Like, yeah. I'm glad you're proud of him. You know what I mean? They like yeah. fist bump. It's like totally. You're like, my deflated right. tits that he deflated? Right. Okay. It's like, yeah, winning. He'll, t- he'll like tweak my nipples, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's fascinated with them. And I'm like, dog, these kept you alive. Right. Like, Does it come from that? I Just don't like know. having such a relationship to them? Yeah, I don't know. He rips yes. at his penis all the time, too. <laughs> Like, it's really crazy. I'm like, you got, I'm like, that has to hurt. And oh, he's stone faced, just like, Meh. no, that's wild. Yeah, no, I used to teach tennis to like mm. t- kids, to mm-hmm. like youngsters. And it's just funny watching kids figure out their bodies. Yeah. And then, and also just learning, then like learning the words for the mm, body yeah. parts. And then just right. learning the need to scream them. Cause I was like 15 or 16. And so I'm like, I have no control. I'm like, if right. your son's gonna yell penis right. every time, like I'm, that's hilarious. I'm not getting paid enough to tell right. him not to do I'm that. I'm sorry we didn't like, you know, master serving today. Like yeah. he, was, he was cracking up the whole class. Okay. And yeah. I didn't do my job of stopping it. But yeah, but no. Um, okay, another. Do you have another quick? Yeah, story this one is for like. Us? <laughs> this one is probably really fits the criteria because I'm gonna be like, I know it's not funny, mm-hmm. but it. <laughs> this past week, a Real Housewife of Orange County was which a, one? Shannon Bador. Oh yeah, was arrested for a DUI. Oh, yeah. oh that's what it was. She okay. was arrested for a DUI, <laughs> and the, and there's footage of it, and. You hear, DUIs are not funny. I do not support drinking and driving. She was arrested for a DUI. The footage comes out, and it is so funny. (laughs) Wait, is it like Luann? Well, it's crazier because it's not her getting arrested. It's footage from the accident of her driving. And so you hear, like, the, I think, like, TMZ or Daily Mail, page six, one of them, like, came out with an article, and then maybe 12, 24 hours later, they were like, guess what? 
a ring camera caught the accident. And so she's in Newport Beach, which it's like, I don't know if you hit someone in Newport Beach. Kind of sounds like a victimless climb to me. <laughs> um, really terrible place. I, you guys are like, what? Horrible place. California? <laughs> we got some bad places. No. <laughs> so she like takes a turn really, really fast, uh-huh. runs directly into a house. Yeah. You see, like she's like, rrr, rrr. and then she drives off, goes, parks on another street. Her dog was in the car. She gets the dog out and then she just pretends she was walking her dog in the neighborhood. And the police came and they were like, ma'am, we clearly know. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Did she live anywhere near there? She was at her boyfriend's house. Oh, and John? And they were fighting. John. She was at John Jansen's house. And she had oh Archie in the car. God. And Shannon has like famously dragged this other housewife, Gina, because she yes. got a DUI. Yes. They- yeah, she sa- yeah, she called the lawyer to save her from her, kid- yes. from her kids getting yes. taken. Yes. And so now all the memes oh are like justice God. for Archie, the dog. <laughs> and so it really <laughs> is, you know, the pot calling the kettle blonde. Right. Um, because exactly. it's just these two like weird orange county women fighting over like whose DUI was right, worse. Right, is worse. And it's all bad, but like the memes have been so funny. Like all it'll right. be like Shannon leaving happy hour and then it's like footage from <laughs> Too Fast, Too Furious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know it's bad. I know I should have been laughing. Right. I'm so happy she didn't hurt anyone. Yes, I'm so happy entirely. like she didn't hurt Archie, the dog. Right. But go look it up. No, I no, I actually I saw a quick snippet of it earlier today, like when I was whatever at home, and I was like, wait, what happened? And then I just didn't deep dive. But I literally spent all of yesterday like watching Real Housewives of OC and then selling OC. And oh, like, selling the OC! The combination of the people—it's just like, ah! yeah, it's insane. But selling um, OC is good. No, it is. Their clothes. I'm like, where do they buy these insane I dresses know. that they wear to open houses? I know they're fat. The fashions. I'm like, they're designer. It's like it cost me a thousand dollars, and I'm like, for what? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like for like what? A string? Yeah, exactly. Oh my I can't gosh! Wait. I well, love them all in their new faces. <laughs> I just love them. Oh, they're all dim. Ugh, selling mm-hmm. OC is peak comedy yeah like it's like it's, it's one of those things where it's like this is obviously not supposed to be funny no um but is really really funny no but it's it's well yeah just the horniness of it oh all. my gosh because like they're yeah because that's their vibe it's just like horny vibe We're it's just fucking. like that one like really rich guy who was married to britney snow yes, or whatever Tyler? right who mean? everyone just wants to hop on yes. and i'm like I get he's tall. I get he's tall and he's got money. He's tall and his dad has money. Right. It's like, okay. Right. But what else? That's there's got that's a dime a dozen in Orange County. (laughs) Right? Andy was like married to an actress. Yeah, so they think Uh Alex Hall. Every woman's there's four women named Alex. I know, I know. Oh my That's God. The I'm crazy Alex. Part. I'm Alex. Well, I'm Alexandra. Well, right. I'm Alexandra. Right. It's a, it's it's Arrested Development. Like it's cra- it's like <laughs> four women named Alex, all with big old hooters trying to sell houses. Right. This is too good to be true. With with no real explanation or like as to their background as to how they actually just that like the twins, those two tiny twins, saw potential in them. Whatever that means. So the twins. Whatever that means. The twi- I was like <clears throat> binging some episode of selling. Sunset. Uh-huh. When right after I had my baby and my mom was there, and every time one of the twins would come on screen, she would start laughing. <laughs> and <I'm> like, <laughs> just, just visually, and she'd be like, "They're not in charge," and I'm like, "No, that like the two of them stack them on top. They're in charge. Right, stack them on top. Put a trench coat on them. They are. And it is. I get. But it's like and my mom is like a kind, lovely woman. No, you know, it was like a sure. hospice nurse. She sees an Oppenheim, and she cannot." keep it you know that tiktok trend where like you'll take your baby and put on your shoulders and then make it look like a human yes they could they could do that they could just do that themselves but i guess that's just putting two it's just a trench coat that's just a trench coat they have zero zero humor about themselves (laughs) oh i passed there well and then it was like i was getting so confused during oppenheimer Mm -hmm. when that i was like wait are they Oppenheimer or are they Oppenheimer? <laughs> like, <laughs> did they invent the atomic bomb? No, they invented big old Hooters selling right. uh, yeah. real estate. Yeah. I pass their office like a couple times a week because I have really? to go near there to record my podcast. Yeah. And so, you know, it's this like luxurious, pretty office. It's like in West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, the Bird Streets. Uh-huh. And you pass it and they've got like really blackout glass uh-huh. and then they have printout 
Like print out, someone went to Kinko's and printed out a bunch of pieces of paper that just say in like 32 font, like, do not stand next to these windows. Like it's like, <laughs> you guys are losers. Let us look in. Let us look in. We want to see Chris right. Shell. Right, exactly. What do you think? What do you, why would you be where you are? You know, I mean, go into hiding. But I guess. But yeah, I know. Every time I'm in L.A., the last few times I've been in L.A., I've tried to make it. I've been like, I'm going past. I'm like, I'm going to do it. And then I never do. I'm like, never mind. It's no, fine. It's I don't far. need to see. Right. It's There's really no far. point. There's but it no is point. on Sunset. So I'm like, OK. Right. <laughs> I did a show for a bunch of realtors that work for the agency. Oh, really? Um, Mauricio Umansky's company, oh, who yeah, yeah, is yeah. separated from Kyle Richards, who's a real housewife yes. of Beverly Hills now. Everyone and now turned he's this a off dancing with 20 the star. minutes ago. No. <laughs> um, yes, he's crossing the picket line to do Dancing with the Stars. Really? So I did a show that was for, and all the agency realtors, high, we're talking high net worth. Like, yeah. Two million, not even probably four million mm. up because two million in LA gets you like nothing at this mm-hmm. point, and so it's this really, really like chic hotel packed with high end realtors, mm-hmm. and the, it was a benefit show for unhoused people. <gasps> no, and I'm like the irony here. No, what was and it? Homeless, they, homeless, not toothless. Toothless, yes, not toothless, <laughs> not homeless. Homeless, not toothless. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It's like just, that's like, well, that was like when Oprah and The Rock were like asking for money for Maui or whatever. And everyone's like, don't you have, don't you collectively have the money that you're asking for us? Mm -hmm. But whatever. But you know, that's a, that's a matter for Bernie Sanders or somebody (laughs) else is not for me. We can't solve that. Yeah, no, we're out. We, we stick to DUIs and. (laughs) (laughs) But not even, not even solving them. Just being like, they're bad, but we will laugh. Yeah. DUIs and late in life lesbians. That's what we're, that's what we're here for. No, um. One of the last questions we like to ask on this podcast, because, you know, we've been doing it for so long, um, is, is there something that everyone finds funny and you're just like, that is not, you're like, that's just not for me. Like, everyone's like, this is hilarious. We, it doesn't have to be, I mean, if you want to name, you're like, let me name five people. There's definitely shows, there's definitely male comedians Mm -hmm. trying to think of like, oh, I mean, I... Uh, I, I meet the parents stresses me out. <laughs> I find it to be so stressful, and I'm like, they should not be treating that man like that. Right. Like that is fucked up. No, he yeah. should leave. It's really, no, fuck yeah. her. He should not marry her. No. Like Owen Wilson, you're an asshole. Right. Like the whole movie, I'm like, stand up for yourself. <laughs> Why are they doing this to you? Get out of there. This should not be your family. It like right. makes me angry. Yeah. Because I'm like, this isn't okay. No, when they turn the baby against him too, like later down the road. And then honestly, what it should have been was just like just his parents. When it's Justin Hoffman and yeah, Barbara, when, and Barbara Streisand in the like the Meet the Fockers. I, I, I've never even been able to finish that because I'm so, so distraught str- yeah. over Meet the Parents. By Robert De Niro just like just grilling. And yeah. her. I'm like, why are you allowing this? Don't right. you why love this, this okay? man? Yeah. Also, I think being a nurse, male, female, and you are doing incredible work. Entirely. Yeah. It was, yeah. Not a movie that did not age well. Not for me. Not for me. (laughs) If we all want to go back and rewatch, I think that's something people love it. And I'm like, mm mm. Yeah, no. I almost, it's funny they brought that up because I almost watched it the other day, like as like my nighttime movie. And I was like, ah, I'm good. I was like, never mind. Yeah. Um, No, yeah. Um, Well, no, Megan, thank you for for doing this, like this. Uh, Yes. Thanks for uh, letting us try this out, and uh, we'll we'll edit this part out. But um, you're here tonight. You've been here. You've been at the Lincoln Lodge last. Well, we've done two nights here at the Lincoln yeah. Lodge. This is your second night here. This is sep- yep. we're in the month of September. Just so everybody, of 2023. Of oh, it is the equinox, isn't it? I heard it on the radio, so I don't know. That's where I get all my news. <laughs> um. But you're here for one more night. We're excited to have you. Um, anything else you got coming up that you want to throw out there and when let the people know? Um, in the next week or so. Okay. Yeah, you can listen to my podcast, I Love My Kid But, mm-hmm. um, where myself and then two other very funny comedians, Chris Garcia and Kurt Braunholer, their dads, um, we complain about being parents. Nice. You know, no advice. No, like, wasn't this part beautiful? Just like, this sucks. We yeah. fully know we went into this. Yeah. Uh, yeah sometimes it's going to fall. But <laughs> overall, we're spending a lot of money and getting shit on a lot. I feel that. 
So note it. Okay, note to self. Um, okay, that's another thing. Listen another fact. Another factor listen to take to in. Listen to the pod and oh, decide. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Decide. Yeah. Now after my summer of summer of a baby, now I'll, I'll yeah. listen to the pod. Well, and the thing is, summer of your baby, you were getting paid. Yeah. I'm that's not getting true. paid. I'm actually paying. No. Yeah. To you're, do this. Yeah. You're losing money. On oh, that. I'm losing a lot of money. <laughs> I'm losing a lot. I'm losing a Birkin bag a year. Oh my god. Yeah. But I love him. <laughs> He's worth it. He's worth the bag. I didn't say that, but I love it. <laughs> Megan, thank you so much for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. I love your freckles. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, one more to the camera just so everyone can see. <laughs> this has been You Think That's Funny with me, Kenny Alon, here at the Lincoln Lodge. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>